Now we've come to the peritoneal cavity, which is here, the guts. All right, now we're going to find a number of wounds. All right, now we're cutting through basically the the mess, the um, the cavity wall. Okay, and I'm opening up the umbilic, the the abdomen. All right, now I'll go ahead down here. Hmm. All right. Nice. Okay. So we're for lunch. Oh, it's nice and hot, man. Usually when we would get them, they would be cold. They'd out of the cooler. So for the doctors, it was very nice to actually work in a warm body. <laughs> nice. All right. Now what we would do is I would cut right here. I need to cut this chest plate off. All right? And that's what I would do. I'm going to go ahead and reflect this thing. I'm going to reflect this back. Uh, let me change my blade. Little help, anybody? Just grab one of those for me. And peel it open, and I'll get another blade. Now the blades go dull real fast because they'll touch bone or they'll touch those metal parts and kills the blade. It kills a sharp blade. So here we have the uh, thoracic, the chest right here is the chest. We have the abdomen. Now look at this, very nice, nice big fat ass stomach, man. Look at that, it's a big fat stomach, <laughs> full of corn, just whatever it ate just now. Probably going blowing up right now. All right, thanks, sir. Open it. Yeah, go ahead and open it. Almost there. I'm gonna, we're showing the dissection now um, of the skin, bringing it away, the wounds. I'm gonna take the hand before you did that. It was okay. Oh, that, I'm sorry. Yeah, does that bother anything? Is that a problem? Really? No, I don't mind it because this is probably not any We can spray, I can spray all this out. We'll... No, this is no good. Oh, to eat here? Yeah, it's no good. Why not? Got all the pellets in there. Right? Oh, true, with the pellets, yeah. You with the eat pellets. The, the, the belly? Okay, well, we'll have to let go of the belly. We're only going to eat this part here and maybe the two legs in the front. Yeah. And the back. Okay. The back should be good. The back, the back. Yeah, all right. I don't want to waste too much of it. I hope we get some of it. I don't want to eat much of it. All right, well, we're going to try. <laughs> I would have get all this skin off, and then you would have done the studs in that thing, and it would have been fun. Well, I want the skin. That's the thing, though, for the demonstration. At least to show. Now, if you guys look yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Look right here. Oh, yeah, the hair. Now, this is where the stab wounds were. Hey, folks, come on, man. I'm showing you the wounds. Come on, get over here for a minute. I want to get through this, too. Come on. So, here you've got the stab wounds, all right? And you can see the... Okay. Hey, smoke here. Don't the, matter. Don't they, don't, they don't mind if you smoke here. You see the through and through? All right, so we're, we're locating a stab wound, and we're going to find out what did it do. Look what it did. It stabbed right here, and it ruptured this rib, and you can see that it went into the cavity. All right? Organs. And so we're matching here, when we peel back, we're matching what we're seeing. That wound goes over here and did that, all right? And so as we're, we continue to peel back this, this chest cavity, this chest fat or meat there, this is what we do. We'll peel, it, peel this back, okay? And we'll be able to see the different wounds, okay? Here, another one. We're talking about some, uh, something that came and went in this direction here, from here through here. There we go. We're trying to find where the projectile went through. We're trying to see where this projectile went and where did it come from. And so these measurements are going to be taken on both sides. They're going to see, yeah, they see where they came in. See what I'm saying? And then I'm, I'm going to probably take a, um, a dowel. Oh, anybody want to hand me a dowel that's over there by the mat? I'm sorry. Now I'll take a dowel and show you where the tra tra trajectory. Oh, is this hot? Yeah, maybe. Stick your hand in it. Test it. I don't believe so. <laughs> I'm thirsty, oh, so man. Do you, do, you have a, do you have a bottle of water in your car or something? Yeah, I got, I got drinky pool over there. Thank water. you, sir. I'll I take this. Water, yeah? Okay. I might. It's a cooler there next to the stand. All right, now, sometimes they use these out. dowels. Not this one in particular. This is this is actually from a tent. Yeah, what they'll do. Yeah, you can see my glass. And they will, they will use the no. dowel yeah, to retrace... The potential trajectory, because now the skin, there you go. So that would be the potential trajectory of one of those wounds. Now, what would we what would we would do is also try to align all three segments of of the of the injury. And so we go through to this internal and then exit. Alright, so we have entry, we have entry, we have the through and through, and we have exit. Now even just by doing this, I'm already restricted to a certain angle. I can't move this thing around in any direction that I want to. Oh, thanks, dude. 
I'm right there would be great. I'm going to be a little messy right now. Appreciate that. But you see, you, you don't have much wiggle room. I mean, this tells you pretty much the trajectory that the bullet took. Okay? You, it's almost, you can't, I mean, I'm not playing with it. Once you put back the skin together, I, you can't fiddle. There's no wiggle room, people. You know what I'm saying? You can't invent a trajectory. You can't invent it because it's there. And the remnants are right here. You cannot make it up anymore. Okay? So when it comes to Kennedy and all that stuff, you know, if they would have done a good job, we would know exactly what happened to that bullet. But nobody did a good job on Kennedy. And so we don't know. But anyway, that's what you do. And that's what they attempt to do is to, to get these different wounds aligned and accounted for. Okay? All right. Now, let's get rid of the, uh, the, the guts, basically. So, usually to get rid of the guts. Knife goes in, the guts come out. <laughs> you guys want to put them somewhere? You wanna, shall we unload them? The guts? Are oh, you going to take them out? Yeah, you, you want me to do that? Sure, if you want let to. Me, let me finish it opening and so we can pull sure. it. All right. Pull it. Like I'll, I'll show you some. And here, and look, guys, now this is shit, of course. Pig shit. All right? It's vegetation. All right? It's, uh. Well, it's in the, and on top of it, it's in the large colon, right? So this is the last stage of your shit. Or poop, I'm sorry. I should talk a little bit better, right? Be yes. Talk Wait, better. Mr. <laughs> Poop is better. Mr. Vister, this is a science class. Fecal matter. Yes, fecal matter. So I had to do the, the surgery. I had to do the surgery because of the piece. Yes. The pee -pee? The yes. Pee -pee? yes. Goes spread in the body, no good. Yes. Okay. Okay. So I had to do the surgery. So I want to teach you something too. Okay, now watch this. He's doing it now. This guy knows what he's doing here. And by the, the, you know, the, uh, the ano and everything, I got to take it out. It's shit, you know? Okay, so basically he's going to, you know, basically, you know, remove the whole anus thing. Now, when we do an he's autopsy, when we do an autopsy, we will oh, we'll remove all of the, of the intestines, okay, as necessary. And in this case, we'd probably examine them to see where the gun, where the, the, the trajectories were. We remove all this, then we, we, you know, remove the... Cut down at the bottom from the inside, and then we get all the guts and put them to the side. Now, then they take and weigh everything. They take the liver, weigh the liver, take the spleen, weigh the, the spleen, take the stomach, weigh the stomach, weigh the contents of the stomach. And they try to find the soul every now and then, but it's never really, uh, what do you call it, successful. Oh, and another thing I want you guys to notice is how difficult it can be to chop up a body. All right, it ain't easy. Really, Why murder you know, ain't I, easy. I, I, I can do it. I know, I know, but it ain't easy. <laughs> it ain't easy. <laughs> not easy, but I can do it. Yeah, yeah if the money's right. No, I'm just <laughs> you know, I won't do that. You got the, you got the troll? You go right ahead. Now I'm gonna I'm throw it out. Oh well, we can look at it for a moment. I mean, how much anatomy do you guys want to look at? Not that much. Come on, guys, take a look at everything. Some of them, you know. This is a closer to a human is being. Is that right there the lungs? Yes. No, the lungs. I'll tell you. This is the yep, lungs. Those, those are the lungs. Yeah. The lungs. Those would be the lungs. He's just pulled those out of the chest cavity, and those are the lungs. The kidneys. You find somewhere. And you know what? You'll um definitely with the lungs. <laughs> they've got gunshot wounds through the lungs for sure. Got to the guts. Got in the, got in the stomach. Here's the stomach. And look, they just ate, right? The stomach is distended. See, the stomach is full. They just ate, okay? You got the intestines small and large. The, the liver. The liver. That's the nice liver. Lungs. Now, the lungs are above the, the diaphragm, mm -hmm. okay? That is a spleen. It's a spleen. This is the kidneys. And then the kidneys are towards the... Is, is that the kidney? Is it in the back? Yeah. Kidneys are little. Yep. That's the kidneys. Very nice. Pretty kidneys, too. Beautiful. And you're going to have the pancreas uh, right around that. here. Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, absolutely. Take whatever you want. I mean, you can. We, the liver is definitely edible. You can take the, the yeah, lungs. Yeah, uh, sorry. It's, oh, but it's not that bad. Seriously, it won't hurt you. It, it, once you boil it and cook it. I know. I, no, I, you I know. might not eat it. <laughs> well, you know what? It, eat. It's good pig food. But the, if you like to fish for alligator or anything, there's some uh, rotten lung. Let me get out a bucket for that. Rotten lung is really good. Yeah, sounds good. 
No, but seriously, when you have a car wreck, this is what you have sitting on your table. 